Merch Mess. Happy Merch Cup. Where we all buy merch to appease our god. We all live in fear of our merciless merch god. Merch god commands more sins. Thank you for giving us merch. Happy merch days. The answer is you can lose yourself. Jackie had it, she was just saying the spaghetti part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> spaghetti in the, the spaghetti, spaghetti song! The, what's the spaghetti song? Hello and welcome back to Trivia Time. That's right, it's Beppardy! <laughs> Beppardy Time! And today it's 2000s trivia. So we've gathered four millennials here to uh, ask them their knowledge. First we have Ian. <laughs> Yeah, thankfully I was born in the year 2000, so I am very aware of everything that's gonna be on this board. Great, next we have Jackie. Yeah! yeah Jackie. Jackie, how do you feel about 2000s trivia? Um, I, I, I watched a lot of TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel pretty good. Great, okay. next we have Kimmy. Hi! Hi, Kimmy. Uh, do you, do you feel good about this, this topic? Um, you know, I always think I feel good about these things until we get down to it and my brain decides not to function until 20 seconds after it. And finally, we have Keith. Yeah. Woo! Cash money records taking over from the 99s and the 2000s. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Keith. Uh, I think Count. Keith's gonna win this. I, I feel like that, that, was music, that was music for 200. So. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Exactly. As I said, it's 2000s trivia, and we have several different categories here. Mm. Our first category is fashion. Mm. Next, it's food, mm. pop culture, mm. music, uh -huh. and slang. Okay. Look at that, we have a little Song. aim thing yeah. right there. Ooh. Pretty cool. Oh, PlayStation 1 controller. Oh. Hey. Oh, that's so uh -oh. cute. We were gaming. And before we get into it, make sure to subscribe. And our most exciting thing, it's a new feature this time. We have a final question. After everything is removed from the board, I will then take this Walkman Whoa. down here, I will open it up, wow. and I will read the final question. Anyone can wager whatever they want, and they all get a chance to answer it. Let's get into it. Yeah! yeah. Go by youngest, Kimmy. Hi. Go ahead and pick a topic. Oh, okay, let's do a fashion for 50. Kimmy, yeah. for 50 points. Which 2000s fashion brand popularized the trucker hat trend? That's Kimmy. Ed Hardy? That is incorrect. Keith! Oh. John Deere. That is incorrect. Uh, Jackie, Ian, you have a chance. Three, two, one. Jackie. Uh, Von Dutch. That is correct. Oh, yeah. I, got, I got it. I was, that was my second yeah. 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 Good job, good job. Good job. Good job. All Bye. right, Jackie, pick another topic. Uh, can we do uh, Pop Culture 50? Jackie for 50 points. Kim Kardashian first became well known by working as a personal assistant to which celeb? Uh, mm, I know this. I'll just second up. Uh, uh, Paris, you. Paris Hilton. That is correct. Uh, yeah, good job. All right, Jackie. Okay. Pick another Jackie, topic. Uh, music 50. For 50 points. Justin Timberlake's hit single, Cry Me a River, is allegedly written about <laughs> Jackie. Uh, uh -uh. Britney Spears. That is correct. Oh, Jackie! Yes! I I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> I, I did not know that. Jackie, uh, pick another topic. Uh, let's do um, food for 50. <laughs> Just go down the line. Right. Clear the board. All right, for 50 points. How many feet long is a roll of fruit by the foot? Uh -oh. Uh, Ian. I feel like this is a trick question, but is it one foot long? No, uh, Kimmy. Two. Jackie. Three. That is correct. Oh, I was gonna say three, damn it! <laughs> no! <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> pick again. Let's do slang for 50. All right. Yay. Is it wagon? <laughs> oh Honestly, good guess. All right, for 50 points. What does FTW stand for? Jackie. The, uh, I don't know, I was too against the best. Keith. For the win. That is correct. Yay! That's very nihilistic of you, Jackie, <laughs> to think it was 
the world. <laughs> Whoa. Keith, it's your turn oh, to pick a topic. Um, let's go pop culture for one, honey. For 100 points. Name the MTV dating show which gave hopeful daters the chance to creep around their potential dates better before. That is Jackie. The Room Raiders. Raiders. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> you knew that, didn't you? That was such a good show. See, we had to keep listening because we didn't know if you were going next, yes. the twist, yes. Room Raiders, the whole thing. I remember Jackie, Room Raiders. I'm with you. That was All shit. right, we're back to Jackie. Uh, can we do food for 100? For 100 points. <laughs> In 2004, after the release of an eye-opening documentary, McDonald's discontinued what menu offering? Kimmy. The, 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 the big super, the supersized. The, the, that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for cutting me off. It, it said anything supersized. So supersized was the word. Oh, no. Good job, Kimmy. All right. Thank you. Kimmy, Thank pick you. a topic. Um, we'll do slang for 150, please. Slang for 150 for 150 points. Without using the word cool or beans, what does cool beans mean? <laughs> Jackie? <laughs> That's a vibe. <laughs> That's, That's great. That's no. a vibe. The uh, key. What? Awesome. Awesome? That it, that's, no, that's like a reach, too. It, it's a reach. I'm reaching. Uh, Kimmy. Good for you. Good. Cool. I'll, Ian will give you a shot. Guys are cool. <laughs> like, that's all right with me. This one's going to Ian. Yeah. Okay. That okay. is the closest. Uh, cool beans is a phrase used to express approval or delight. Mm. Your favorite character is Sophie. Cool beans. <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> uh, let's do a quick point check here. Ian with 150 points. We've got Jackie with 300 Damn. points. Wow. Nice. Kimmy with 100 points. Okay, okay. And Keith with 50 points. Yeah. I'm that's gonna, that's rare. Here. Keith okay. is usually far in the lead by this mm -hmm. point. So Ian, you get a chance to pick a topic. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. as, a, as a maxinista, <laughs> I want to go for fashion for 200. Oh. Right. Oh. This is big money. For 200 points. Which of these artists did not have a popular fashion line in the 2000s? <laughs> Diddy, Sean Paul, Beyonce, or Jay-Z? <laughs> Keith. Sean Paul. That is correct! Yeah! Yeah! He came back so quick! <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Music for 150. <laughs> for 150 points. Which Best New Artist Grammy Award winner did not receive their award in the 2000s? Christina Aguilera, Bon Iver, Adele, or John Legend? Uh, Keith. Bon Iver. That is correct! Yay! Well, let's do slang for 100! Slang for 100! For 100 points. Name the celeb whose iconic 2000s catchphrase was, that's hot. That is Ian. Paris Hilton, baby. That's right. Second Paris Hilton of the night. Yeah. Two Paris Hilton cards. I mean, right. Paris Hilton really ruled the 2000s. She really, she really did. did. Yeah. She it was it. weird. Ian, pick a topic. Let's go pop culture for 150. Pop culture nice. for 150. Okay. <laughs> for 150 points. In 2004, which phrase was featured on the yellow bracelets on everyone's wrists? Oh, God. Oh, I know this. That is Jackie. Live strong. That uh, is correct. Yeah. That's right. Jackie, pick a topic. Uh, can we do food for 150? Food for 150. Why? I'm not playing smart. It's getting crazy. <laughs> I think that was a great move, Jackie. I don't know. <laughs> for 150 points, which of these is not a real 2000 snack? Yogo bits, berry Twix, grips, or fresh mint Skittles. Keith. Grips. Nope. Uh, uh, Ian. Fresh mint Skittles. Nope. Uh, Jackie. Yogo. Kimmy. Grips. No, no, no. <laughs> She did say one that was already said. I can hear it. To be okay, we're gonna get this to you because there was only one answer left, anyways. I'm losing. Uh, 
You're right, you're right. Kimmy, that is correct. It's very twist. <laughs> it's okay, I've done it before too. I always Grit. flash I back know. to like, Grit. Yeah. Fashion 100. For 100 points. Yeah. <laughs> the popularity of low-rise jeans led to women styling their outfits with intentionally exposed <laughs> underwear. What was this animal inspired? Keith? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna finish the questions in this. Uh, octopus. <laughs> uh, Jackie. Whale! Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh <laughs> it was whale tail, so you pretty much had it. Yeah. Oh. 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 Nice. You never knew. Yeah. Uh, let's get a score check here. We've got Ian with 250 points. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Jackie with 550 points. Ooh. Kimmy nice. with 250 points. And Keith with 400 points. This is, this is probably our closest competition we've ever had on the show. This is very, this is very close. Jackie, pick a topic. Uh, can we do uh, pop culture 200? 200 points. <laughs> Which of these iPod models was released first? iPod Mini, iPod Nano, iPod Shuffle. Uh, Kimmy. Shuffle. Uh, Keith. iPod Nano. <laughs> mini. That is correct. It's a mini. That's crazy. Pick again. Aww. Let's do music 100. For 100 points. Is it Shaggy? <gasps> what was the first Eminem single to reach number one? Uh, Jackie. Oh no, I'm just thinking Shaggy now. <laughs> Oh, no! I'm like, it wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah, Jack, you gotta answer. Oh. Three, two, one. Okay, I can't. Okay. Keith! My name is. Nope. Oh, no! No, no! Kimmy! Slim Shady? That's it. Nope. Oh! oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go back to Keith. Why not? Wait, did I get another shot? Yeah, you can go again. Who's making these rules? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm letting someone. Is it, is it the stand? Oh no, the spaghetti closet you, one. You need to get the spaghetti. You, you need to get which one? It I is. didn't even hear the question. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Or is it Duffy Gap? This is the guess. The spaghetti. I in the think closet. we're not gonna give this to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, What's the, the answer? It's lose yourself. Yeah, lose yourself. Oh. Jackie had it. She was just saying the spaghetti part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Song. What's the spaghetti song? I believe Jackie, you pick again. Okay, um, let's do fashion 150. For 150 points. No 2000s look was complete without these flowy mid-calf length pants. His name Gauchos. Good, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Those were all I wore! <laughs> They're so comfortable, bring them back! Bring them back! Gauchos? Gauchos. Gauchos. Did you wear them yeah. with ballet flats? Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, Kimmy. Ah, let's do, let's do, let's do slang for 200. For 200 points, decode this aim away message. <laughs> AFK, BRB, TTYL. Ian. Away from keyboard, be right back, talk to you later. Oh that is correct! Yeah. That, was, that was the easiest. Come on, man. I, that away AFK. from AFK? Yeah, what? Like, yeah. Away, away from oh, keyboard? I yeah. never yeah. that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're not gamers. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian. Oh, geez. Um, oh, so many choices. <laughs> I'm t I, yeah, I have no chance with music, so I'm gonna do food. All right, food. Unless music is shaggy, in which case, shaggy. For 200 points, which naughty television show is credited with kicking off the cupcake craze of the 2000s? Hmm. Naughty what? television? Which naughty television show is credited with kicking off the cupcake craze of the 2000s? <laughs> Ian? Is it Cake Boss? Nope. <laughs> cake Boss? What kind of... This one's tough, so you guys all have a chance. You can just say a 2000s show. Naughty yeah. Cupcake Show. This show was on HBO. Oh, we didn't have oh. Ian. Oh, naughty though. Yeah, that's Oh, Sex and City. That is correct! Oh. Oh. Hang on, let me, let me read this out. Mm -hmm. 
With a season three episode featured uh, Carrie Bradshaw eating a cupcake at Magnolia Bakery in the West Village, within weeks, several fans flocked to the bakery to try the cupcake for themselves, which led to constant lines around the block. Anyways! <laughs> <laughs> it's music for 200. It's very close uh, competition right now, so. 2007 was a great year for Timbaland, who had three singles that charted in the Billboard Top 10 of this year. Name one of them. Uh, we got Keith. Um, pr pr promiscuous girl. Uh, Jackie. Well, it was that one. <laughs> uh, I know it, I know it. Um. Uh, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. I know it. I know it. The, do you want me to let yeah, Keith? I, I know it. Yeah, Keith, buzz back in. The, the way I are. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, I was getting confused with 2006, because that's when he was working with Justin Timberlake and Nelly Furtado, mm -hmm. and then 2007 came around, and that's when he had his big hits on his own. 2007, he did have Give It To Me with Nelly Furtado and Justin Timberlake. See, there we go. Oh. Oh. What was the other song? Uh, the other song was a, another song. Apologize. I apologize. <laughs> We're about to go into our final question, and these are the scores. Uh, we've got Ian with 650 points. Nice. Jackie with 750 points. Nice. Ooh. Kimmy with 400 points. Nice. And Keith with 600 points. Nice. It's a close. close one. All right, Are now, I'm about to open up this final question. Remember, you will write down the How answer. How many points did I have? You had 650? Mm -hmm. 650 okay. points. So guys, you will answer the question, you'll write down your answer, and you'll write down how many points you're wagering. Now that's how many points you could gain, or you'll lose if you get it wrong. So this entire competition could change drastically after this question. Mm. <laughs> we have the final question here, and the topic of the final question is Jennifer Lopez. Oh. I love her. Put your wagers. Here's the question. J-Lo's infamous green Versace dress from the 2000 Grammy Awards led to the invention of what essential internet tool? <laughs> I didn't know this, I learned What? That. Kimmy, what did you answer? Um, I answered uh, the image search on like Google and things. Okay, and you wagered 400 I points. I wagered all my points. Those Wait, are all my points, All right? your points, 400. okay. <laughs> oh, dang it. Keith, <laughs> what yeah, did you answer? Well, I got kind of confused, and uh -huh. I put a, just a screwdriver as a tool. Got it, and you wagered 600 points on yeah. the screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Ian. What did you answer? I liked I, I liked Kimmy's answer. I should have gone with something that's slightly like that, but um, I wrote uh, the Facebook um, for sixty nine points. <laughs> nice. Okay, great. Uh, Jackie. Um, I I was on the same wavelength as Kimmy. I said Getty Images. Getty Images. But I was like, oh, I'm coming around. I'm a little can I change? And you wagered name? 350, you cannot change your answer. You yep. wagered 350 points. Yeah. All right. The correct answer is Eric Schmidt, executive chairman of Google, mentioned that at the time of the 2000s Grammys, JLo's dress was the most popular search query they'd ever seen, but we had no surefire way of getting users exactly what they wanted. JLo wearing that dress. As a result, Schmidt says, Google image search was yeah. born. Yeah. Timmy, I think you just won. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to Kimmy, who is the queen of the 2000s. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you to all our contestants. How do you guys feel? Did you feel pretty, you guys all did really well. Yeah, yeah You all did, this is probably, I'd say so all much. of you did really well. You all know, you all remember part of your life. But when you end up with just zero points, I mean, there's no way Well, to when you wager 600 points on a screwdriver. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below and uh, let us know what other types of trivia we should do, uh, what, what we should quiz ourselves on. Uh, and make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And we've got more videos down here, so check them out. Uh, we got some, it's some good stuff. I promise it's good. If you like this, you're gonna like this. Look, you're gonna like it, okay?